Hello beauties. I want to share a story with you that feels relevant to the theme of be more sensitive and also speaks to what I learned from sharing my heart with a nature spirit. So years ago, I was traveling down through California, through the States in a van with seven people and a guinea pig. And we stopped on in the desert at a place called Quartzite, which was having a gem and mineral fair. And so that night we parked our van, some remote dirt road, and it was a full moon, a glorious, luminous full moon. And I remember under the light of the moon, just going out into the desert and having a moment to commune with the land. And as I put my hands on this earth and as I started speaking to the land, I received an encounter. So I encountered a nature guardian spirit. And so this guardian felt like they were an indigenous spirit of the land that had lived there and who knew this, this land very well. And so they came up to me and I asked them if they had any messages they wanted to share. And what they said to me was that they couldn't understand why humans were interacting and doing and making choices regarding our, their relationship with the land in the ways that they have been. I just couldn't understand it and it was quite upset about the, the decisions that were being made by people in their relation to how they treated the earth. And part of the issue it had, the spirit had, was it felt that we were heartless. It felt like that there is no way that we were truly capable of feeling if we were doing actions as we have been. And so in that moment, the first feeling I had was, well, and the response I had to that was, was you need to understand that so many of us are raised in a culture that is completely desensitized in the for for the reason of it's just too much to actually cope with all that's happening all the what's happening on the earth on a on a biological level and a societal level and and I shared that the reason why people do so much is because there is this numbness that is potentially um, shared or born into or trained into humans because to actually feel the impact of what's happening around us is too much. And that was what I told them. I said, well, until you can understand what it is to feel numb, it's, I can understand that yes, it seems obscene the what we're doing. And so back then I was a little more reckless with my relationship with the spirit plane. And so I suggested to the spirit that why don't we just share hearts? Because I wanted to know what it felt like from their experience on what they perceived happening in the world. And I wanted them to understand from my acknowledging my numb experience, knowing that I haven't actually had my full sensitivity available online to give them a better understanding on how to relate to the sickness that people are dealing with. And so the night, you know, the, that was it. We closed, I, I said farewell and kind of forgot about this offer. So if you're ever working with spirits, you have to understand that it can be easy to almost discredit or, or forget just how powerful and palpable when we make contracts are with the spirit playing. And so the next day, I ended up going to this gem and mineral show with everyone. And the moment that I walked in to this big warehouse full of stones and merchants and you know hundreds of people zooming in and out, and my heart started to actually ache. Like there was a pain, and it almost felt like I was having a heart a heart murmur. And I just had to stop as my heart was clenching. And I just looked around and I could feel the consciousness in all these stones, these thousands and thousands of stone beings and these stone people. And I could feel each of them, um, you know, their own sensations, but many of them were feeling, um, were wanting out, were feeling trapped, were feeling stuck, were not wanting to be seen as a commodity in this way, or weren't being, more specifically, 
they weren't they felt that they weren't being respected in the exchanges that were being made and so i do support being stone stewards and i think it's really important to be a ambassador of the stone people and help them move to where they need to go on this planet but in doing so making sure that you're taking responsibility to respect their innate being their innate nature by listening to them and honoring them and and knowing when they want to go somewhere and who they want to go to and listening to that no matter how much it costs for you to have them in your life so what happened was i just started feeling all of these stones and i started hearing so many of them being like get us out of here get us out of here and i was <laughs> like oh my gosh i can't handle this and so i was a little more um impulsive back then and so what i did was my my first response was i need to save these stones <laughs> i need to rescue as many stones as i can and so i'm you know this is very contradiction what i'm about to say but i'm going to share it with you and so what i did was i ended up getting a shopping cart and started filling it with stones all the stones that were speaking to me they were like get me out of here i want out i want to go back to the earth and so i just started filling this cart and i ended up walking out of this place with so many stones and i just kept walking and i just carried this cart and put it in a bag and just walked and i ended up bringing these stones to the desert and bring them into the deep desert and just creating this big stone mandala this big stone grid as a prayer also to the spirits of this land that like i'm listening and i felt this and i hear you and may this action be a prayer to all those those unheard prayers all all those unheard voices of these stone people and i created this grid and laid those stones on the earth and some of them wanted to come with me and i ended up doing I had this thing which I called um it was crystal grid graffiti <laughs> and so I would bring some stones and actually set up these crystal grids and city spots with some of these stones and and at one point I was setting up this crystal grid and I actually had a cop come up to me and in the middle of me setting up said it was illegal for me to sit on the ground and he was watching me and so what I had to do was I had to set up the whole grid while squatting and just being there with this presence but why I bring this up is that I ended up going back and returning his heart cuz I was like I can't handle this is actually it was too much to feel that much and clearly it's like not everyone can just go and you know at that point in time I was able to save and rescue you know listen to a bunch of these stones and bring them on their journey but that's not a reasonable response right for where we're at in humanity I mean so what I realized and why I share this story is that I want to acknowledge that yes there is a numbing that is necessary unfortunately at this point to be able to navigate life but there is a way of supporting your journey and feeling safe to feel more because I believe that we are sensitive beings and that each person is innately empathic and sensitive and highly in tune to our surroundings and it's if anything what happens what's important now is to create the the pathways so that you can start revealing that innate sensitivity that you have to the spirit realm to the stone beings to the animals your telepathic connection with those that you love but that's a birthright in this life and and so this journey of desiring to be more sensitive while honoring and respecting that there are certain laws there are certain societal systems that are at play and and how to coax and create a safe um unfurling of these petals of this luminous part of ourself of this receptive part of ourself and this is why i started the energetic hygiene class because i realized that in order to to honor our sensitivity we also need to learn how to inform it about the reality that it's going to be feeling and giving it a safe and way to explore what's around and be able to navigate it so i share this story with you and with that innate sensitivity within you and to know that you have 
the perfect amount of time and space in your life to to continue to evolve and develop your sensitivity but if any part of you doesn't want to feel more i'd like you to explore that because i believe that it is in awakening our sensitivities that we become more of ourselves that we become more alive and in order to be more alive and why that's important is because with more life force in us how we think how we react how we interact with life changes what we can create in this life changes our impact can be exponentially more beneficial and so i my prayer is that we may continue to awaken these dormant senses in our being for a more fuller experience and also to be of greater service in this life. So I hope that was helpful and have a beautiful spring day. Aloha. Hmm.